Hello, today I want to show off a new feature that has just been added. So when you're working with workflows and forms, a feature that I highly recommend you check out if you haven't already done so, um, you often need the option to select from a list of values that you got from inside the OpenFlow database. And we now actually have a much easier way of doing that uh, than the normal way, which would be to do a query here or here and then attach the values to the message that payload object. So inside the form that I'm using in this workflow, I now can add a select. And if I go to data and select resource, I can now select from a list of resources. Resources. <laughs> Um, so, for instance, if I select users, this will now present me a list of the users that I have access to. Whereas if I select entities, it will now show me a list of all the entities in the entities collection that I have access to. Um, I can actually test that right here. So if I search for Jensen, um, it doesn't find anything. And the reason it doesn't find anything is that this will only get the first 100 items. And when I search, I'm searching within those 100 items. But I know that there's more than 100 items in the database and some of them contain the name Jensen. So the way that I can fix that is I can add, add a uh, query name. So I could go down here and I could say I want to search on data. There it is, data.name underscore regex. Um, or I could simply just say query to query on any field that is part of this query. Um, so if I go up here now and I search for Jensen, this will actually show me the list, uh, a list of options that matches Jensen. Um, another way that I could do this is uh, if I delete this again. I could go up here and say that the value property that I want equals name. And what happens then is that whatever that I'm shown is uh, that field and the value that I'm selecting is that value of that field. So I'm presented with names and I'm selecting a name. So the value that I get is a name. Um, and as you can see, that automatically fills out that uh, syntax that you saw before. Uh, uh, and that means that if I go up here and I search for Jensen, I now get everything that matches Jensen. Now, imagine that I didn't want to show everything. So inside entities, I have uh, 300 companies and 300 people. So what I can do now is I can create my own resource that defines what I'm interested in. So I could define, so, so resource is a view into a collection. So I'm going to work with the entities collection and I'm going to create a resource called companies. companies. And the way that we do it is that we create what is called a MongoDB aggregate pipeline. Um, so there's an example here on how you can do that. So match is your query this is where we filter on the information that we're interested in so in this case i'm going to create a filter that says type equals company and project means projection projection being just get the fields that i'm interested in in this case only name and type so this will now get any entities inside the entities collection where type is company and we call that uh, companies I could create a corresponding one called uh, people. And here I could say, I want to filter out on those where type equals person. And again, I'm only getting name and type. So if I click save, I reload the browser to force form IO to not cache anything. And if I then go to forms and I go inside here, I can now add a select box and I can say, select the company. And under data, I select resources and I select companies. And I'm going to say the value property is name. And now if I go over here and search on Jensen, I only get companies with the name Jensen. Um, and again, I can add another select. Let's 
call that person. And again, as data, I'm going to select resource. I'm going to select my people's resource. I'm going to say that I select based on name and save. So if we go to Node-RED, I don't have anything in the debug, uh, but you can see over here, I'm going to time out what we selected. So if I go to forms and I run my CVR lookup, I can now go in here and I can select a company and I can select a, a person. Uh, click submit and uh, this is checking on oh yeah person submit and now you can see that company is the company selected and person is the person that I selected now normally you would want the ID and not the name. Sometimes you want just the name, sometimes you want the ID, but you want to show the name. So let's quickly just fix that. So if we go to CVR lookup and say company, so we're going to say that our uh, data, so we're going to say that the value property is ID, but we still want to search on name and we want to show name. I click save and I'm going to do the same for person. So data and value is ID, but we want to search name and we want to show name. Save, save. So now if I go back and I run my workflow, there we go, I run my workflow one more time. Again, I can still search on company and I can search on name. And if I click submit and I go to node red, you can now see that I'm getting the ID of those entities and not the name. I hope this was helpful.